Criteria for congruence of triangles 3. In order to explore another criterion, we again take a triangle ABC. Now take three thin sticks equal in length to sides AB, BC and CA of triangle ABC. Place them in any order to form triangle PQR near the triangle ABC. By measuring the corresponding angles, we find that angle P is equal to angle A, angle Q is equal to angle B, angle R is equal to angle C, establishing that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle ABC. This means that equality of the three corresponding sides of two triangles results in congruent triangles. Thus, we have criterion 3. If the three sides of one triangle are equal to the three corresponding sides of the other triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. This is referred to as SSS side 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 congruence rule. Criteria for congruence of triangles 4. Now construct two right angled triangles with hypotenuse equal to 7 cm and one side equal to 5 cm each. Cut them out and place one triangle over the other with equal side placed on each other. We will observe that the two triangles cover each other completely and so they are congruent. Or we can say that two right triangles are congruent if one pair of sides and the hypotenuse are equal. This we have criterion 4. If the hypotenuse and a side of one triangle are respectively equal to the hypotenuse and a side of the other triangle, then two right triangles are congruent. This criterion is referred to as RHS, right angle hypotenuse side. For more such videos on all subjects, practice questions and a lot more, download iPrep and learn unlimited.